his HTML5 experience. Hey, George. Hi. So uh, we've got a great team at, uh, at Research in Motion dedicated to making the best web experience available today on, uh, on all of our products. We have a rich HTML5 platform. We have high performance uh, JavaScript and hardware accelerated graphics. And uh, we are actively contributing to the community to make sure that we have uh, that we have all of the latest code, the latest standards, and uh, we're actually leading the way, making sure that we have the best implementation. And, and, and this is something that that uh, you know I think is really important. With with BlackBerry six, we that was the first time we put the Torch browser into a BlackBerry product. So that's a full WebKit browser, and that's basically the same browser source code running now on our BB six and BB seven devices. This is running on Playbook. That's and right. moving forward into our BBX platform. Upgraded, of course. Of course. But it's basically the same. In a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a large way, it provides the bridge so you can write HTML5 applications using WebWorks between BB7, BB6, BB7 devices as well as Playbook. That's correct. BBX in the future. We're going to be supporting that through the browser work that you're embedding into these platforms, right? Exactly. That's the transition across platform, across device. And with WebWorks, you can package it up and turn it into an application that you can monetize, put in an app store. So uh, I've got some, some uh, great demos here to show you. Let's sure. start by uh, launching one. This was an application that was built for the Rogers Cup tennis tournament. Uh, you can see it has some great effects. So just to be clear, this is HTML5 running on Playbook today. This is all on HTML5. HTML5. So we'll go ahead and launch the application. And look at this, how smooth. All of the transitions are, all of the interaction. It's just you like a condition native, highly tuned application. Live video, all hardware accelerated. It looks so rich graphically. It looks like I'm watching a, a professionally produced, you know, HD television news or sports channel. Exactly, exactly. And this is the power that we've been able to to unleash with some of the, the open source software, with the open standards, with the QNX platform, and the, uh, and the, the great hardware, hardware, that we the put great hardware that we have today. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's move along. This is a, a great example of a uh, consumer application. And uh, now I have an example of something that's more enterprise focused. This is a, uh, an example from a company called Component Art. And they have these, uh, these cloud-based components that can be used to visualize you went to a website. You download This is a live. website. This is a website. Launches really quickly. It's all interactive. Interactive. You can uh, select a new range of data. It will go out to the server. It will fetch new data, and then it will re-render it when it's ready. Wow. And the other one was an actual app. The other one was an device. app. That's correct. Amazing. But there's one more thing that I'm really excited to show you today. This is a first. I'm opening up a new WebWorks application. Okay. And what we've done in BBS. And this is driving out the HTML port. That's right. And digital sound as well, right? That's right. It's HTML5 doing that. This is all HTML5. This is the it's first. It's linking all the sensors, accelerometers, everything else. Everything. This is the first demo of WebGL running on our products. actually developed by the, the team who did the WebGL implementation at BlackBerry. Amazing. So this really rounds out the picture, doesn't it? We've got this high performance operating system platform that's, that's standards based, certified standards based. It's got security certifications, it's got reliability certifications, it's got safety certifications. It's being used in planes, trains, automobiles all over the world. And now we've taken that, we've, we've really built on top of it We've added the kind of um, open source environments that are necessary to write really great native applications. Now we're going to talk a little bit about what we've done to really round that picture out with graphics and 3D animation. That's right. But with HTML5, we're intercepting the future because we're we, we are you know we're sensitive 
to what our developers want. We're, we're trying to understand where they want us to go. And, you know, it's almost like over 75% are all telling us they intend to do something with HTML5 in the future. Absolutely. They see it as the future. Absolutely. So we, we are basically, you know, we're, we're focused on it, we're, we're investing in it, and we're making sure that we have the best HTML5 implementation in the world. Absolutely. Thank For you sure. very much. Joe. Thank you very much.